Comets are cosmic objects in the solar system orbiting around the sun. They were born alongside with the solar system four and a half billion years ago. In ancient times, a comet in the sky was considered as a sign of approaching disaster. Their appearance in heaven was often mistaken for signs of the gods. That's why people back then were really afraid of these objects. However, later science was finally able to authoritatively explain what are the comets, and the public fear turned into interest. Comets have a tail only when they come fairly close to the sun. It is caused by heat and evaporation from exposure to sunlight. The comet's nucleus amounts for up to 90% of its mass. At the beginning of the 20th century, the bright tail of Halley's Comet was visible in the sky with the naked eye. But during 2021, another comet made a big fuss in the press. Recently, the media was buzzing about the biggest comet ever discovered by humans. Called in honor of its discoverers, the Bernardinelli-Bernstein Comet was definitely one of the most exciting discoveries for the scientific world in recent years but it also raises a lot of questions. Today, I'm going to tell you every detail that we know about the Bernardinelli-Bernstein Comet up to this day. Hit like and subscribe to learn more about the comets and their mysteries. Now, you will find out what kind of comet Bernardinelli-Bernstein is, why it is unique, how big it is, and why it attracts so much attention. A massive comet approaches the Earth. Is it a treat for us? As with many big discoveries, the Bernardinelli-Bernstein was also made by accident. For the first time, the comet appeared in dark energy survey data in 2014. It was actually designed to help scientists better understand dark energy. That survey ran from 2013 to 2019 on a telescope at the Cerro Tololo Inter-American Observatory in Chile. During it, more than 80,000 images of the sky were captured by a scientific camera that had a wide field of view and high sensitivity. Every image contains thousands of cosmic objects of different shapes and sizes. Bernardinelli and his advisor Bernstein were using this data for research, but they didn't intend to find comets. Bernardinelli's doctoral thesis was focused on transneptunian objects, which is a name for any dwarf planet in the solar system that orbits the Sun at a greater distance than Neptune. That's about 30 times the Earth's average distance from the Sun. Just so you imagine, the Earth is 150 million kilometers away from the Sun. This distance is also called one astronomical unit. Most transneptunian objects never stray further from the Sun than a few hundred astronomical units. Bernardinelli and Bernstein designed a way to spot transneptunian objects within the dark energy survey images. But during analysis, Bernardinelli pulled up an object, the most distant point of which was tens of thousands of astronomical units from the Sun. This detection appeared to be highly unexpected. The scientists thought that it was a mistake and kept looking for errors, but everything seemed to be correct. Bernardinelli took the discovery to Bernstein. It's important to mention that all of this happened seven years ago. At that time, scientists suspected that this bright round object could be a comet. But only in summer 2021, they were able to combine the earlier data with fresh sightings of the distant object and officially confirm their suspicions. The Bernardinelli-Bernstein comet, according to the analysis, started its journey at a distance of around 40,400 astronomical units from the Sun. When it was caught on the picture, it was located in 29 astronomical units. As we mentioned before, one astronomical unit equals the distance of the Earth from the Sun. When the comet was caught on the picture, it was located in 29 astronomical units. 
and the fact that we've been able to detect an object that was located more than 4.3 billion kilometers away from us is, to say the least, mind-blowing. The comet is now in Oort cloud territory, which is a giant sphere with icy objects, occupying space at a distance between 2,000 and 100,000 astronomical units from the Sun. Why is this discovery unique? Anyway, what was so special about this comet? Why was all the media around the world talking about it? Well, let's see. According to NASA, currently we know about 3,743 comets. And most of them are around 3 to 4 kilometers across, which equals the size of a village or small town. So how much do you think Bernardinelli Bernstein is? 5 kilometers across? 10? Okay, maybe 50? Well, no. According to scientists, this comet is no less than 160 kilometers across. Therefore, it's about hundreds of times more than a typical comet. As Bernardinelli says, we have the privilege of having discovered perhaps the largest comet ever seen. Also, the scientists caught it early enough to watch it evolve as it approaches and warms up. By the way, if this comet turned out to be a transneptunian object, the discovery wouldn't be that remarkable. Astronomists know about a lot of TNOs of that size. But if we are talking about a comet, then 160 kilometers across is a massive size. Before, scientists studied only two comets that somehow can be compared to this giant. One is Comet Hale-Bopp, which made a close approach to Earth in 1997 and was approximately 30 kilometers across. The second one, VQ94 Linear, was estimated to be around 100 kilometers, but it came no deeper into the solar system than Jupiter's orbit. But why are large comets so rare? Well, every time these objects pass the Sun, they become a little bit smaller than before. As Bernardinelli mentions, it's very rare to see big comets because unless you're catching it in its first or second passage, most of its material would already be gone. Every comet that has been studied before has already changed a lot over time. That mainly happened because of two reasons. They were either too small to avoid fragmentation or they passed too close to the sun that they were in the star's intense heat, altering their chemistry. But in the case of Bernardinelli Bernstein, the huge comet possesses just enough gravity to hold itself together. Also, the big distance from the sun helped to preserve it. Astronomers always expected that such huge comets as Bernardinelli Bernstein actually exist in space. For them, the discovery was a sign that they are on the right path to piece together the solar system history. This big comet's journey is the opportunity of a lifetime to learn about the conditions of the solar system that one day led to the creation of Earth and all life on it. According to Bernardinelli, the story told by the comet would tell us of what existed in the solar system billions of years ago and we can use that to understand the things we see today elsewhere in the solar system. Not that a lot has happened to this object since its formation in the early days of the solar system. We can think of it as a window into the past, or a time machine. So, it appears that this huge ice ball can tell us a lot about the origin of life. What can be more exciting than that? Of course, this huge comet immediately became an important discussion topic. And one of the most commonly asked questions, of course, is about its possible danger for Earth. But can the comet really be a treat for us? Let's reflect on that a bit. To see where the comet is and how fast its movement is, the scientists measure how the comet is moving against the cosmic backdrop of stars. After that, they factor in how the gravitational pull of our Sun will influence the path of the comet. The comet Bernardinelli Bernstein right now is at around 2.8 billion kilometers from the Sun, and this huge ice ball is coming from below our planet's orbit around the Sun. It will appear near Saturn's orbit, 
and then is going to zoom back out to the deep solar system. Luckily for us, its path is not coming anywhere near Earth, or in this case, near any other planet of our system. However, it will be close enough for the scientists to observe it. It's going to be at its closest point to us on January 21st, 2031. But even then, it is still going to be about a billion miles away from the sun. But what's most important here is that scientists will be able to observe the comet for many years to come. And with all the older observations, it's a real gift for astronomers. As cometary scientist Rosita Kokotenikova tells, studying long-period comets is more complicated they just pass through the solar system, and scientists catch them quite late and study them for a brief period, and then the comets are gone forever. The Bernardinelli-Bernstein comet is scheduled to be observed in 2023 by Vera C. Rubin Observatory. It is going to survey the southern sky once every three days. This will give astronomers a detailed view of how the comet changes as it approaches the sun. But what about us? Will we be able to spot it? Well, unfortunately, the comet is still going to be too far away to be visible with the naked eye. But if you get yourself a good telescope by the year 2031, you will be able to spot this specter shifting among the stars. By the way, it's maybe the only time when humanity actually will be able to see the comet. Last time when Bernardinelli Bernstein was close, modern humans had yet to evolve and nobody knows where we will be by the next time it visits us. Want to know more about the most interesting comets and their stories? We would love to tell you all about them in our next video. Hit like and subscribe. See you soon.